know the players. I even don't know all the names of the players. And it is a good idea that I uh, get the team three days before the match and then I'll be, uh, I am coaching the match. Do you think it's a good idea? Yes? Okay. The idea to stop your league is to have more time with the players to do some training, to get them fit for the match. I told them what I will do with them, what are my targets. So, I would be happy to have four weeks with them or eight weeks. I would for sure not be happy to have only one day with them or two or three days. So that's why the decision was made to uh, cancel now so that uh, I have a little bit more time with them uh, to reach our target uh, or to prepare them as good as possible. Sometimes you are sacked because poor results. Uh, uh, sometimes there might be other reasons. Um, I've heard uh, some comments out of the uh, media that was asking uh, who, who is this coach? Uh, so. Uh, who is this coach is giving you a good answer uh, somehow this question because if you don't know me uh, it means I am not someone with a famous name I uh, am um, someone who has worked now 30 years in football development from these 30 years I have to correct one of these media that was coming out I was working 28 years with teams on the field, not only 18, 28 years. So, we already came to the situation, what is the situation of Rwanda national team out of the FIFA ranking? It's a team that needs development. It doesn't make sense that you get a former professional who knows about playing maybe against uh, Barcelona or whatever, uh, uh, but uh, can work with players that are already on a high level. So, uh, maybe I don't know what coaches you had before, uh, and if you had coaches 20 years ago, time in football has changed uh, a lot. You cannot, cannot compare what you have done 20 years ago, what you have to do now. If I remember my time when I was playing football, it was 11 times 1 against 0. Huh? So now it is playing 11 against 11. It's now a totally different game than 20 years ago. So uh, that's why it is very important, what I said, to get the ideas to the players how to act together. Huh? Because otherwise, it's the result, and that's what I already have seen. I informed myself before I came here. Uh, how, where the matches played. Huh? What I saw was a lot of kick and rush. Kick and rush is the result because players don't know where to run for asking the ball, and the other player doesn't know where to play the ball. So because he's getting under pressure, he is kicking the ball as far away from the goal as possible. This is absolutely the last option, but this has nothing to do with, with football nowadays, what you like to watch. So that's why I think um, there's a lot of things to do to develop. I'm coming out of this. I wanted to become a professional by myself. This stream was cut because of a knee injury. So that's why I am coming from the other side. I am coming from the development. I am not coming from, from being a professional in a, in a high league. Uh, I think for a situation like that, this is a good solution what your federation has done. I am happy to be here and uh, to work here with the, with the team. It's also decided that my wife will come here so that uh, we will stay, the plan is to stay for a longer time. It's not planned to leave after three weeks. Uh, but okay, time will show what will happen. I already said there is uh, talent in this team. So this is a, 
a very important point. There is talent. Now, talent has to be developed. In developed countries, talent is already developed in the youth, what is a very important part. So, uh, when players are coming out of the youth, they already know most of the things uh, in technical and technical aspects. If there is no good youth development, then players coming out with talent but still having done already a lot of wrong things, uh, uh, what you have to change. So, um, how convinced I am? I cannot give you any number of it. I am here to win matches and I, I am here to show that your players can show not only kick and rush, that they can show, try to play football, modern football. And um, you can ask uh, Abdul, I am trying to explain them all these things. Uh, it doesn't make sense that you are starting to build your house on the third floor. And you have big problems still in the first and in the second floor. Uh, so somehow I am also here now to fill these gaps that are in the first and the second floor. That it's a stable situation in the third floor. And, uh, okay, convinced? I cannot answer you uh, the question like that. I'm working hard. We will work hard. Good. As I said, uh, this group that has been invited was out of a cooperation between the technical director, the assistant coaches, and I was giving my input in what kind of players I would like. Um, for the next invitation, I will have a better situation because I will be here, I will watch the matches, I will see the players, how they are doing in the league. I hadn't had this chance. I, I could see one or two matches only. Huh? Um, and there, for sure, I didn't see all the players that might be possible. Um, for the moment, I have to work with these players and I will try my best. And for the future, I will use the chance to scout the players. Also, when I'm not here in the country, I will go to some of these places where foreign players or players that may, might, might be able to play for your national team, to go there and watch them in their training sessions to get an idea. Then we don't have to invite them because I can already watch them at their, at their normal uh, playing ground. Uh, um, so we will use this situation and, okay, as I said, we are using also this camp, if possible, to get two or three players in we haven't seen that are playing on a, on a good level in, in European clubs. And then we will see if, uh, if they make a difference. I hope so. Huh? Uh, scoring goals is coming back what I told before. When you don't know where to run and the players who is passing or crossing the ball is, does not know where to run or where to cross the ball, then the chance is 50-50 that ball and player will meet. So, now we will talk about certain situations that will appear during the match so that players know, okay, if the ball is coming from this position, the striker knows where he should run to get the ball. Now the question is, is this guy getting the ball to this position? But at least both know I want to kick the ball there and the striker knows I have to or what I want to run there. And uh, these are things we are now have started in the training. And uh, the other aspect is the technical aspect. Huh? Um, you have to use the right shooting technique for the situation. So it means there are different shooting techniques. Now you use the wrong shooting technique in a certain situation where you should use a different one, then the chance that you are scoring is becoming less. So these are a lot of things. Oh, how, where you shoot, you shoot to the first post, where you shoot up or down, you shoot to the second post, you shoot up or down. I told our players, you are running kilometers until you get the chance to shoot to the goal. And then you are making the wrong decision huh, by shooting to the goal. 
so that the goalkeeper has a bigger chance to catch the ball. So these are all things where you can try to make the players better, better understanding, better using the, the technique you have to use in this situation. And then the chance will increase to score. It's getting to increase the chances for being better. That's it. Yes. Did I answer your question? Sorry. Did I answer your question?